first order of business is I need to adjust this for normal sized people. <laughs> Jeff. Yes, first of all, I want to take the opportunity to take and, and really ask for your help in giving a big round of applause for not all of our, just for our volunteers, but for the outstanding staff of this. And before we do that, I want to remind you, I'm the only person here with a gun. So, <laughs> all right, so let's give them a big round of applause. It has been a wonderful experience serving on the United Way Board of Trustees. I've learned so much about the work that they've accomplished, and I'm looking forward to the changes and the innovation that is yet to come. I serve as a member of the United Way Governance Committee, and one of my jobs is to prepare a list of individuals considered to serve on the Board of Trustees United Way of Cass Clay. Per our bylaws, individuals interested in serving on the United Way Board may petition United Way two weeks prior to our meeting. This year, no petitions have been received. On behalf of the volunteers that served on the Governor's Committee, I'd like to place the following names into nomination for the United Board of Trustees. Would the nominees please stand as I announce your names. First, Denise Kolpak, Chief of Staff and Senior VP of Communications and Public Affairs for Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Dakota. Second, go ahead. I will point at you when I want you to applaud. You guys are way ahead of me. <laughs> Second, Mary Jo Hutzler, a Director of Content Services at the Forum Communications Company. And last but never least, it's Aaron Procknow, the Executive Director of the YWC of Cass Clay. Aaron will serve on the Community Partner Representative. All right, audience, as investors in our work, now it's your turn. As individual contributors to the United Way, you are entitled to a vote to approve the candidates as presented. At this time, I'd like to accept a motion and a second from the floor to approve the names as submitted. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a motion and a second from the floor. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. You can do better than that. <laughs> Say aye. Aye. Although opposed, same sign. Crickets, crickets. Motion carries. Thank you, Denise, Mary Jo, Aaron, for your willingness to serve on this community. In addition to welcoming these three new board members, we'd also like to take and welcome Mark Jensen of Concordia, John, uh, Concordia College as a newly appointed chair of our 2014 Board of Trustees. As a current chair of our Community Investment Committee, Mark has been deeply involved in leading our investment strategy and understands the work of nonprofit community partners. We look forward to his leadership. Thank you, Mark. And now, I'd like to recognize three members of the United Way Board of Trustees whose term are complete. We thank them for their volunteer leadership and at this time, their investments in making our organization stronger. I'd like to ask the outgoing board members to please join us here on stage. You guys know who you are. Come up here, please. <laughs> First, I would like to thank and recognize Mr. Paul Finstead, the Executive Director for the YMCA of Cass and Clay Counties. Paul served one term as community partner, representative on our board. As one of our nonprofit partners, we are thankful for the insight he provides during this time of transition. Thank you, Paul, for your service and leadership. Second, we'd like to acknowledge Carol Weber of UPS. Carol has been an instrumental part of Women's Leadership Council since 2008 and serves on this as a chair in 2013. With the help of her leadership, we had the largest women's leadership luncheon in United Way history. Thank you for your volunteer efforts. Thank you, Carol. Oh, thank you. Do we have Dante? 
Finally, we'd like to thank Doug Hamilton of Prairie Public Broadcasting. Doug has served on the United Way board since 2007 and served as the campaign chair in 2007 as well. Doug has been a dedicated United Way volunteer for many years, and we thank him for his volunteer leadership. And all of these three individuals need one more big round of applause for their volunteer service. Again, this last individual is truly a rock star, at least in my eyes. Well, maybe not a rock star, but he, you know. I would like to recognize another volunteer who's a leading a uh, straight, or is, excuse me, is leading the strategic direction of United Way this year for a 2013 Board of Trustees Chair, Mr. David Berg, CEO of American Crystal Sugar Company. Instead of telling you about David's leadership style, we thought it'd be more effective to show you some highlights of Dave's tenure. United Way does really good things in our community, and we just want to kind of raise the profile of it. So, so later on we'll do an auction, but the main thing is that we get them to support the United Way with their contributions and, and emotionally act as a volunteer for the United Way, too. So it's just a way of raising the profile of the United Way and having some fun, too. Halfway? We must be getting there by now, huh? I figure it'll take me maybe three or four months to grow my head of hair back, but United Way will work for, for a long, long time with the money that we raised today, and that's, that's the right thing to do. David, on behalf of our team, thank you. We greatly appreciate it. Well, hold on a moment. As an employee campaign coordinator, David served uh, alongside of his American Crystal Sugar teammates, and he really challenged them to take that next step up, to give back and to get involved with United Way. And he incentivized them that if they were to do so, they would not only get to pick out his hairstyle, but they would get to have a fun afternoon by playing trike races as well, which is what the video um, that you got to just see. So he was a lot of fun within his own organization. But in addition to that, David has led our board and our organization during a time of great change. He has led with clarity of vision, belief in our mission, and a tremendous support for our entire team. But most importantly, David, you've led with heart, real heart to help people. In my tenure as a nonprofit executive, I've truly been privileged to lead with many amazing board chairs. But I can say to all of you, none that have had such clarity of vision that have led with such efficiency and with such heart. David, it has truly been a privilege to serve alongside of you. Thank you.